If you want to have multiple windows, different windows back and forth in your GUI, I'm not suggesting that you do, but if you would like that, here are a couple of points. So let me just run this. And you'll see that at a certain point, depending on what I click, I will get the second window. And so the deal is you've got to be able to communicate from one window to the other and then back. And the only real way to do that is by using objects, where if you make the object in the one and then send its reference to the other, changing that reference will change the original. So let me just show you that this works and then why it works. Actually, I'm going to show you why it works first. So I've got a, a, an object here, an array list, and I'm adding different things to it. So what we're doing is we are sending, or we're sending two things to the constructor of the other window, including this, which is an object. This AL is the array list. So when it's received by the ingredients builder, constructor, right here, you'll see that we're receiving the object. And so whatever changes we make to this object will be reflected back in the other class. And what I programmed here is simply if one of the buttons is selected, then we change one of the array list strings to be changed successfully. Simple as that. So the fact of the matter is that this is an object. So if we are changing it, we are changing all references to it, both here and back in the other one. So let me just show you that it does work. So once again, actually let me test. So this test is going to show me uh, hello world and it's going to show me, I think, the first index of the array list down here. So it's LJK, LJ, LJ. So I open the ingredients window, sending the array list. I have this selected as true so that when I press the testing JSR, it should change this to be, I think the words were changed successfully. And then I did something else. Uh, with this still in memory, so we can still stay working in this. Now I'm going to test over here, and you'll see that um, it is had a world changed successfully. Indeed. That was changed to change successfully here in this window. It wasn't sent back, it was just reflected back in the original window because they're both pointing to the same thing. So in other words, the only way that you're able to send stuff back and forth will be through the use of uh, objects. And that's it.